What's going on you guys? It's Robbie here again for another video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something that is talked about way too often, but stuff that people don't really seem to understand. Um, it's something that you can be told over and over and over, but still not really care to do because you never really see the consequences of it. And while I don't have any big solid proof of, you know, this is how bad things happen, um, these are things that if you do think about them though, it does make sense to not do. So, today we're gonna to talk about five things that you should not do when you're driving a manual car. And number one, we're gonna start where probably everybody else starts, is resting your hand on the gear shifter. I know this sounds silly, because look, I'm driving with it around there right now. These are things that I'm guilty of, and things that most people are probably guilty of. But the thing that people say is don't rest your hand on the gear shifter. Now, that's in short. In long, it's like, okay, my hand is like resting on the boot slash kind of my reverse lockout. It's not a big deal. What they're really meaning is don't hold on to this like your life is about to end because as you start pulling on it while you're turning or if your hand just starts to weigh down on it, but if you have a death grip on it, you're gonna be pulling it. And how it works is basically there's a fork in your transmission that's connected to the gear shift and it moves a rotating collar. And it's only supposed to come in contact when you're changing gears and stuff. And what happens is you rest your hand on it and you're pushing the gear selector into the rotating collar. And yes, it's not gonna blow up, it's not gonna do anything bad, but over time, it's gonna cause it to wear out prematurely. So these aren't things you're gonna say, oh, yo, I've done that in my whole life, and that's no big deal, but if you keep your car for a while, you may end up seeing the consequence, but if you're someone that, you know, drives your car for a bit and gets rid of it, you may never actually see what came of you doing that. And like I said, it's no big deal just to have your hand down here, but what the big problem that comes is when you start hanging onto it real tight and or kind of hanging off of it, um, and you just have a lot of weight on it. Number two is don't use your clutch to hold you on a hill. Now, I'm guilty of this. When I first learned how to drive stick, I learned how to drive on newer vehicles that had hill assist and whatever. I didn't even know that that was on there. I, I just never really thought about it. I started on a hill, I, I, I let off the brakes and the car held and I just got used to it. Um, and then I started driving this and I kind of started, you know, letting the clutch out a little bit, holding my spot, gear, like, I did it a little bit, then I realized it's not not good. Um, the best thing to do, if you don't have the hill assist, if you have the hill assist, you're fine, keep going. Um, I really wish that this car had it, but it doesn't. And the thing that you're best to do is just pull the e-brake. So you'll put the car in gear, clutch in, when you, you know, like, I see the light change, I pull the e-brake up, I take my foot off the brakes. And then as I give it some gas, as soon as I see, like, I feel the clutch start to engage, then I drop down the e-brake, and then I start going. It just prevents me from rolling backwards into somebody without burning the clutch while I'm just sitting stationary on the hill because the clutch is doing a bunch of work just to hold me there. Um, so just use your e-brake, and you should be fine. Most of the newer cars now, I would imagine, have uh, the hill assist. But unfortunately, us with the GT86 and BRZs, and I don't know about other cars, um, but unfortunately we don't, and it's just something that we have to learn to drive with. Number three, don't lug your engine. Meaning, not does that does not mean the common misconception of don't floor it in sixth gear. While yes, that's part of it, that's a big part of it, it's not about flooring it in sixth gear. It's about don't give your car too much gas in a gear that's not meant for that speed. So if you're driving around, it could be third gear, but if you're driving around doing 30 kilometers an hour in third gear and you try and accelerate really fast, you're still lugging the engine. Yes, you're not in sixth gear or a higher gear um, and you're not flooring it, but people don't understand that any gear that's too low for the speeds you're trying to achieve is technically lugging the engine. And that may not seem harmful, it may just seem like your car is going slow, but you're building up oil pressure and you're building up a lot of things in the engine. It's working really hard, but it's not getting you anywhere. So the engine's meant to work hard and relieve itself kind of as it's doing it. I know it doesn't really relieve itself, but that's the best way to describe it. Um, as it's happening, and if you're not letting it do its job properly, it's just gonna do the same thing. It's just premature problems that can happen. None of these things are you're gonna do them once and your engine's gonna explode unless it does. If it does, I'm really sorry about that. But basically, it doesn't matter what gear you're in. If you're at really low of an RPMs, just don't floor it, downshift, don't be lazy. Because being lazy and not downshifting or not going into the appropriate gear is where you start to cause problems on your engine. 
And that's gonna tie into number four. Number four is don't early shift when you're getting up to speed. So I'm gonna define for me in this video, early shifting is basically 2,500 RPMs or 2,000 RPMs. So to me, an early shift would be, you know, I get to 2,500 RPMs and boom, next gear, boom, next gear. That's great if you're accelerating slowly, but if you're in traffic and, wow, there's a stop sign here. If you're in traffic and you have to keep up with traffic and you're trying to, you know, do what everybody else is doing and stay up to pace, you really shouldn't be early shifting. Now, basically, that's because you're causing the engine to lug, just like I was just saying. You're just causing it to do things too early. So I shift at like at least 3,000 RPM when I'm driving, and I know that there's cars that are, are okay with early shifting, and there's cars that are kind of meant to do that, but just don't do it and accelerate. You can do it and then accelerate lightly, but don't early shift and then accelerate like you're trying to get up to speed with everybody else because that's the same thing as lugging your engine. Number five, if this one does not come to you as common sense, then please do yourself a favor. Download the either Kijiji, Auto Trader, anything that allows you to sell cars, throttle, anything that allows you to sell cars, and uh, go sell your car and buy an automatic. Because if you rest your foot on the clutch, the, I, I remember the first time someone told me to rest your foot on the clutch, they said it hurts your fuel economy. And this was when I was like 16, I didn't have a license, I, well, I, did, I had a G1, but I didn't have a car, like I didn't know anything, right? Don't rest your foot on the clutch, it ruins your fuel economy. And I thought, wow, how does that happen? And they go, oh, well, you know, because your clutch is half engaged and uh, you're, you're gonna ruin the fuel economy because only some of the power is getting to the transmission. And I didn't know much, but I knew enough to say, like, are you stupid? Like, you're gonna burn your clutch out. I knew clutches can burn, so that's the first thing I thought of. You're gonna burn your clutch out. But you'd be surprised. I work at a dealership, so this is coming from a real experience. I don't just BS these things. Uh, you'd be surprised the amount of people that get in a car and rest their foot on the clutch pedal to the point where when they take their foot off, it, it makes the, like, it goes clunk and it extends the rest of the way. And it's horrible to do. It's a horrible habit. There's a dead, a dead pedal right beside it for that purpose. Foot on the dead pedal when you're driving. When you're changing gears, even if you're going to change into the next gear. I literally go first. When I come off, I put to the dead pedal. And yes, you can rest your foot in front. I just got a foot cramp, so I don't. Or you can just rest it away from the pedal, but just don't have it in contact. It's not like the gas. When I let off the gas to change gears, I keep my foot on the gas, like touching the pedal. I just let it out. But if you're doing it on the clutch, like guys, just stop. So hopefully none of these five things came to a surprise to you if you are already a manual car driver. If you're looking to drive a manual in the future or you just started, hopefully you learned something from these videos or took something away. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped some of you guys out. And I hope you guys stay tuned for more in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.